people's tummy like worms. Touch tummy worms with me. No. Let us gingerly touch our worms. Who, what? who organized that output? Mm. Yeah, that was, who do you think? I mean, it's awkward. <laughs> it looks, it's, it's not really even bad. close to the golden ratio, Dennis. I don't know what the golden ratio is. This also, is I couldn't figure it out because of the other two boxes. Imagine a snail. It's the fucking golden spiral, dude. Spiral out. If it, if, so, it, if it was up oh. to me, you would make mine and Tristan's the same size and yours bigger since you're the DM. Yours is the same size. Mine yeah, but is it's slightly bigger. But, oh God, it's in such a <laughs> okay, poor so position. That's because it's a great not idea. wide enough, the screen. What if we put all of us in the corners and the ship in the corner? Are and the, then uh, alerts the donor still... thing in the center. Oh, Chronic, thanks, bro. They're muted. Oh, they're muted. That's what yeah. it does. Chronic, thanks for your bats. Otherwise, we would hear it. Someone's going to be the bit boss. For episode <laughs> one. <laughs> Commander. Cron. Lord. Cron John. I lost. Damn it. I'm so what sleepy. What did you think of the game? Hmm? What? <laughs> I'm still reminiscing about Mario Kart last night. We lost a couple times. It makes me sad. Anyway. <sighs> How's everybody out there doing? Hey, Tashi. Steve is watching Bread, I think. Is Bread streaming right now? He normally streets and then feeds into us. Hey, hey look, there he is. Hey, there's a bread. We just mentioned you, bread. Yeah. The devil's ears are bread. Worms or something. Rye bread. He uh, his his he, soft spots <laughs> flowing <laughs> over. <laughs> Rye bread hit me up uh, through text message today. He's like, "Hey man, I'm gonna be in your area soon." Dope. Uh, he was like, can I hit you up for some beer? And I was like, yeah, so we can shit on you in public. Hey. What were you playing tonight, Bread? Probably Zelda of some sort. Can we Watch be shocked like, out super of Bread's handsome. soft spot at Dragon Con? Oh, oh, dude, that's a great idea. Just like, yeah. okay, just <laughs> If I know Bread, he's got a lot of soft spots on him. Oh, uh, we could do multi-shot. Yeah. Cook a combo, Bread. <laughs> Cook a combo. You got that concave Multi chest thing, so we can just fill it up with vodka and we each get a straw. <laughs> and it's like a tummy. It's a tummy race. It's a tummy race. We're let's gonna eat this bag of worms. Who gets? <laughs> let's play tummy sticks. Tummy make them sit there all day, so we can dissolve <laughs> like a, a sour sticks? gummy worm in it. That's from uh, that's from Wedding Crashers. Braid. Braid. Boo. Braid. What's braid? It's a bread raid. Oh, I thought that's what he was playing. Because there's a game named oh, called I get Braid, it. I think. I think he was saying, uh, he was playing Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Waker. One of those joke things. Wind Waker's jokes. a good game? Never played it. I didn't have GameCube. Oh, once I get through Majora's uh, on the stumble through, we're going we're gonna to roll right into Wind Waker. Um, nice. Because I, I have the HD version on the Wii U, so I'm excited to get back into it. Oh, he's playing with his soft spot. <laughs> That's skill. Yeah, it won't be soft. When, when you say playing with your soft spot, do you mean you were like playing with it, or like it was holding the controller, and like doing? Well, that? That's how he beat us all last night. Oh, he switched to the soft spot. Yeah, you re remember how he was like real shitty, and then he did something and got real good. One of the best bros. I can come up with a much better layout than that. yeah. Tell she. I was like last second. There's like a hidden box too. What yeah, do you want from me? I did it. It's my bad. <laughs> It it's only harder. happens at 6.30 p.m. There's no time in the day to set this up beforehand. Not like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two fucking weeks. What are you talking about? What, what new development happened in two weeks? Uh, well, for all of you that don't know, which I'm sure not a lot of you that are here do know, that uh, John and Austin and Botch Podcast, have, we've gone our separate ways. Uh, we wish them mm -hmm. luck on whatever future endeavors they have. And I'm sure if they put their mind to it, they'll be able to accomplish anything. Uh, we're just taking the show in a different direction and uh, thank them for the laughs that they gave and the characters that they played throughout the years. And um, I think they'll be fine and do well, whatever they uh, end up doing next. I, I know John was already shopping around a new podcast, so nice. keep your ears out for that. So, uh, so that's all. long and thanks for all the lulls. That's, I mean, that's really, we're going to end it at that. Um, public announcement here. There are works, uh, we are working behind the scenes about uh, bringing uh, new cast members in, but until then, we're just going to keep going, and uh, I think that about covers it for, for John Austin. So, okay. It will simply soldier on. Also, uh, Chance, um, if you didn't clip it, then it didn't count. So, When it comes around, you must clip it. He said he did well at Power Room, but we have He no, didn't play we, well at we Power Room. We didn't. We have no proof of that. Lies. Yeah, like I said. You know who plays well at Valorant? 
12 year old nobody oh. <sighs> who wants to do the recap uh, previously on Bosch. we'll uh we started some sort of satanic ritual and I tried to sabotage it with my friend uh, Keith, but I, when I winked at him, he didn't really get the message because he's probably autistic, so didn't really get the subtle hint that that was, uh, you know, time to do the thing that we had discussed previously to look for my signal. And then uh, Yokish tried to do something, but everybody saw him, and uh, the runes lighted up, and something exploded, and uh, Chumbledew's no longer with us. I don't know what happened, but some little Chumbles. <laughs> what could have happened? I didn't want him to suffer through the apocalypse, so I spaced him, and uh, that's where we are. I feel very sad about it. I think I'm going to eat. <laughs> it's not like uh, you t- like the um, Harry and the Henderson. Henderson's. Get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> you didn't send him back to the woods. You threw well, him into space. Well, I mean... It was, a, it, was, it was a quicker death than he would have received at the hands of the demons. <laughs> he doesn't know if Wendigos can uh, survive in space. I guess. I mean, that one... It's right. He literally yelled, Octopole. die. <laughs> He did scream, die, die, my darling. You didn't even die, happen. you monster. Die, 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 I'm not my a darling. I'll see you in hell. Yeah. Welcome back, listeners, to the, what episode number are we on? <laughs> I forgot. 45. 45, all right. Welcome back, listeners, to the 45th episode of our fifth season. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, side note, Keith did get the message. That's why it got all fucked up, because when he was doing the whole ghost hand-over-hand thing, he was secretly changing things, but uh, nobody noticed because no one was paying attention. So he didn't miss you. He's not that autistic, Tristan. He's a smart, good boy. He is. Who's Tristan? And I love him. Well, I'm well, I'm yelling at Tristan, but anyway. So we're not starting right where we left off last time, as some things have happened. <laughs> when the demonic passage through time and space was closed, and all the um, Demons were sucked out from everywhere. The explosion of the Hellgate, or implosion, however you want to look at it, damaged all the ships in the nearby area that were watching it, yours included. Most of the other ships, however, um, when they malfunctioned, they exploded, so they're just floating debris. Luckily for you, you have the crack aces of Verde and uh, Perkins Keith, on the job. Perkins. And they managed to... S- salvage things enough so that the ship did not explode. However, you are currently adrift in space with only emergency power, and the emergency power is just keeping life support and some lights on. It's like uh, a low a flashing red light. Oh, yes? Okay, you, ans- you answered my question. Never okay, mind. got it. Great. So it's this low flashing red light, and it's been a few days. I would say it's been three or four days. Not even the food replicators are working. They have a certain amount that they could create, which you guys have all but burned through. Um, however, Yakish in his, we'll call it bloodlust, we'll call it, he got a hankering. I'm manic. He's manic. I'm yeah. having an episode. A manic sure. Ep- I'm having a manic episode. Yeah. He, he ate Joran first because... He I really... don't want to clean the package <laughs> box anymore! Yeah. The, plus, he's tired of him being captain. The key is always just one captain for Joran. He's tired of it, so just get him out of there. The rest of you, however, on the ship, have sort of <clears throat> huddled down in the cargo bay for right now with the children and the teacher. Yes, um, there's a shower there, so it's, it's quite There quite is nice. a shower there. The problem is that Yakish has been stalking people through the ventilation system. Yeah, I know, it's like the back of my hand. Which runs through the whole ship, cargo hold included. But luckily, um, the cargo <laughs> hold is fairly tall. It's it's like 30 or so feet, so you can't just like reach down and nab you. Yes, we have a motion sensor on top of the, the ventilation in the in the, the cabinet that we're in. Excuse me. Sure. The, you know what I'm trying to say? Cargo, bay. cargo, yeah, cargo, cargo cabinet. Sure. So in this space, all you all you have is whatever you have, you know, just at your disposal, laying around, you know, tools, stuff like that. The children, the teacher. I don't and... think it's fair to call Keith a tool, but he was calling Perkins a tool. Oh yes, <laughs> he's definitely a tool. I don't... Look, uh, I happen. To... Everybody, I don't appreciate that. Everybody, listen up as acting captain, and. Uh... 
order of all the helmets of protection that we'll have to that we'll have to do when they arrive. Uh, I happen to know that What's this man, to do? AJ Washington, it's keeps not a helmet uh, of protection. It's a little goo ball that's sucking your brains out through the top of your skull. Look, you will stop when the captain is talking. That's like I rang the bell, so <laughs> oh. you, you have to listen now. Ring, ring. All right. Well, right. Listen. So in AJ Washington's quarters, I happen to know that there are. Uh, vats of ranch dressing just sitting there ready to be eaten as well as uh, half empty boxes of pizza that are just shoved under the bed so you can just grab them whenever you want and they should be still good because they were made by the replicators to be extra salty it's upstairs, and though. style so they're just basically breadsticks yeah, with but, uh, with but, cheese but they're upstairs yes but we have no more food i imagine right yeah unless you're holding it fatty i'm not i'm not holding it everybody look at him does he have food yeah, you can roll to see if he has food. I'm going to perceive. I get a 14. He does have a half a power bar in his pocket that he's been nibbling on for days. I rolled. He's, you get what power you, pockets. What did uh what did you roll, Yakish? 26. Oh yeah. Uh perception uh zoop zoop. Uh, unfortunately, I'm busy staring at the power bar that's in Perkins' pocket. Okay. Because you know I got what? an eight for that perception, but a fourteen for the look for food perception. Sure. Uh, one of the, the teachers just like, wait, where, where did Timmy go? And there's only fourteen kids now. Yeah. What? So, uh, we should probably get a head count. And who was on uh, motion sensor duty with that vent? You kind of shit the bed there. You were talking. Hold on. You said we had to pay attention to you when you're talking. You rang the bell. You we, literally made the rule. Are we just playing Among Us? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> is that what we're doing? I'm we going know to who the monster is. <laughs> well, well who was on duty? Who was on duty? <laughs> me, technically. <laughs> well? You told me to watch you. Everybody, what's the punishment for missing a yuckish? Put her in the vents. Put her <laughs> in the vents. Exactly. But, but if we put her in the vents, we'll be one more down, and then we'll be- And that's more cheesy sticks to go around. No. Homework. Yeah, but we need no the, more homework. We need if the it's people to, all the time. We need the, the people to get to, you know. Teacher isn't people. <laughs> Teacher isn't people. I'll we'll kill you. It, we'll put it to a vote then. All right, and children's votes count. So all in favor of killing the teacher and getting rid of homework forever. Aye. Fourteen, <laughs> fifteen with you. Verde, all opposed. Verde, uh, Verde, Keith, and Perkins all raise their hands as opposed. Well. That's how uh, space democracy works. Traitors! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, teacher lady, that we never even got the name of, but, uh, you know, it's a democracy. What do you what do you want? Miss Grizzle. Oh, that's and, right. And we also, did say. Yeah, we did say something like that. Yeah. Also, uh, it'll keep him hung, sated for a longer period of time, so we have a better chance of getting those pizza sticks. All right, if that's what you think. So they just... Hold on. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to input, but sure. Uh, you remember like uh, Jurassic Park? Yes. Mm -hmm. When they had that goat. Yeah. You, on a chain with a, <laughs> you want us to chain her to I a mean, box? You could set a trap to Ch try to chain catch, her to a stick. To yeah, we can catch Yuck. All right. All right, little boy, that's a great idea. Yeah, thank I, I like you. It. Uh, let's let's chain it to a stick and let's uh, try to rig a space gun to shoot when the stick is pulled. Keith, can you be in charge of engineering that? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I um, oh, I feel conflicted about trying to kill Yakish, though. I mean, he's just a hungry boy. We just have to, you know, well, find if the gun, somebody. If you set the gun to stun, maybe it'll do its job, and then everyone will be saved, oh. and this teacher won't be... Uh... Oh, okay. And yeah. he, se he sets his gun up, and it's tied to a string, tied to a stick, tied to the teacher. Like a little box trap for a mouse? Sh sure. Mostly, she's just strapped to a crate with a string. Oh, no, is that the... It's not the... Muta ghost box, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, he's still there. He's up he's up top somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if you've eaten him or I not. I haven't. <laughs> so yeah. So which of us are going upstairs to get pizza sticks? Well, uh I guess everyone I don't know. Children have a lot of energy, right? So uh they probably won't go to sleep. Uh but maybe we should give them guns. So that wanna, they can defend themselves? You want to give the majority of the group that just showed that they're actively willing to kill someone they've known guns. 
well, maybe she wasn't a very good teacher and she wasn't reaching them and she was more of a disciplinarian and not not a real guiding force in their life. We reach these kids. She teached us evolution. <laughs> we'll, uh, I, all right, so I, maybe not I guns to all of the children. On the guns, like the front line, okay. front line of kids okay. can have the guns and they can watch the teacher they have to and also the vents. <laughs> it's like a hall pass. One exactly. When one, one of you use the trigger. When one falls, the next one will pick it up. That way, uh, the ship is strong. <laughs> guerrilla warfare with children? It, well, I mean, I'm not giving them amphetamines, but it's a great idea. Uh, <laughs> little child soldiers. On is meth? There? I mean, I can stay behind and watch yeah, the Yakus trap. Exactly. You can be the, the marshal of the children who will uh, stop Yakish from taking everybody. You'll be the shepherd of the flock, so to speak. Yeah, um, sure. And then Keith... Me, uh, yeah, Verde, and uh, yes. maybe two children can go after the the blessed pizza boxes and ranched uh, gallons. You guys should probably well, there's probably still a little bit of food left in the food replicator. Might want to be able to. Do we want to wait well, on it? Come back to it later. Well, uh, maybe there's a. Do we have a battery pack we could attach to it to get a couple like use what's left in there? Well, it's what I'm saying is it's you're an engineer. It's got the emergency power, so it has a set amount of food that it can make. All right. If so we, we should uh, if we try and put any uh, external power in, we probably won't be able to breathe. Okay, we'll uh, we'll do that. There's a replicator right outside of AJ's uh, quarters, as I remember. So one of us will work on that, Verde, I suppose, and uh, Keith sure. and I will go get the boxes. Okay. And everybody, be on your toes. Because Yorkish is a slippery one, so with, with the de desiccated flesh. Jeez, yeah. So, the so in the cargo hold, it's sort of like a crosshairs shape of the vents, and then it also outlines the entire box. But it's like up above. Mm -hmm. But on the upper floor of the ship, the uh, grates run sort of like a skeleton throughout the ship. It's in the floor and the ceiling, so. And there are vents in both the floor and the ceiling, so that, and they are connected between the cargo holds. So you might so want like to we're watching this on a on a handheld with the last of our power, and I'm imagining it's like going, chik -chik 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 -chik, and it's just like a bunch of lines on a white grid that yeah. has like a flashing dot, and we all know what's going on, but it's like super not clear at all. Sure, exactly, yes. So there there is a staircase in the middle of the cargo hold that goes up to the main ship. It's like a almost like an ambush point, point, you say. Well, there's no vent in the stairs, so yes. The but stairs it, it, are a vent. <laughs> yeah. But yes, you could use it as an ambush point, or be ambushed. It, I mean, Well, I was imagining we might be ambushed there, but uh, he's not privy to this conversation because we're not actually having it. And you got the teacher snacks, so that might, you know. Plus, he just ate a kid, so he might be saved a little bit. Con save? Con save? Yeah. Critical one. Okay. <laughs> that die is now... Will, all right. High uh, or low? Low. Okay. Yeah, no, he's not sated. You can hear him howling in the vents as, like, bones are rattling around in there. Howling. <laughs> it's a glory <laughs> howl. <laughs> he's, he's starting to sound and act an awful lot like that when to go on the uh, cruise ship at this point. But I'm prettier. I got, I got, I'm a lot prettier than she is. Sure. So, uh, Zoop Soup... If you guys are sneaking up to do that, you might want to roll stealth. Mm hmm. Strike Team Chango, go. I got a 10. Uh, you're not that stealthy. Uh, you are no, I'm not. Clip clopping a little bit. The children are whimpering, uh, but Verde and Keith are both pretty quiet as they're. Uh, they, they sort of like lead ahead because of the fact that you are so uh, loud mm -hmm. in comparison. I and go on my combs real quick. Hey, hey, Perkins. Yeah. If you could uh, get that teacher yelling, like maybe in pain, so as to distract from a uh, you want me grumpy... to hurt her? Well, isn't it, it bad enough that a... we're feeding her to a goddamn monster? Yes, but we're trying to secure food for the group. I'll make extra power bars for you if you do it. <sighs> Porkins treats. <laughs> I do love Porkins. Porkins. Did you do it for a perky snack? Perky snack. Perky snack. Sorry, teacher lady. <laughs> And you just, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to set it on, ow. 
She, you can just hear phaser Crucio. shots going, going off in the <laughs> background. <laughs> she passes out. And she's just like, Oh, ah! God, I was on the wrong setting. Oh, I was on burn. <laughs> well, better better turn it up then. So Perkins um, blasts her in the leg so that it causes a wound. And she doesn't scream right away. But seeing that it doesn't do the intended effect, Perkins goes over to his dirty litter box and grabs a handful of it. And he's like, I'm sorry, I have to do this. And he just grounds it into the wound. Uh. So it's dirty kitty litter just right in her burnt wound. And she just starts screaming like crazy, to which he then runs away. <laughs> How far away is Group A from the uh, storage facility? I would say they're in the stairwell going up towards. So about from, from where the teacher's located, um, about uh, 80, 100 feet. I will hold my action. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're like in strike team formation that Zoop Zoop knows from AJ Washington's uh, video watching. So, you know. Sure. Not at all. Yeah. Putting his fist up every once in a while. Sure. So when motioning you, forwards. When you guys and you guys can hear the screams coming down and back from the room. So you know Perkins is doing a damn good job of making her make a lot of noise. And scream. And bleed. So she is bleeding as well. You doing what you have to do, Perkins? Don't, don't feel too bad. I don't want to talk about it. You better give me those goddamn perky perky. What's your favorite uh flavor? Perky snack. Um Seaweed. <laughs> Seaweed chips. Seaweed and peanut butter? <laughs> seaweed, seaweed and peanut butter? <laughs> seaweed and peanut butter <laughs> chips. Fucking gross. <laughs> Showbiz. <laughs> seaweed, saffron, and peanut butter coming up. Oh, God damn. Uh, so you guys who are going up the stairs, you get to the top. And like I said, you're back on the normal floor of the, the layout of the ship or whatever. All lights flashing. Lights are just dimming in and out red, so it's like dark. Shit. It's kind of bright red, dark, kind of bright red. There's barely any sound. I mean, the engines are not on. It's just enough power to be able to keep the circulators going enough for you to be able to breathe. And is gravity or new? Yes, yes. there is You're gravity. Right. Um, so there are repli- So you actually come out in the mess hall. So there is a replicator in this room. I just need paper. All right, I'm gonna. Paper. Everybody, watch. Watch all the exits and the vents. I'm going to try to power this up and get it going. Is there anything else we need? Like anywhere else on this floor while we're up here? We can split up and maybe get stuff? Or how do we want to do this? Well, yeah, Keith, if you have any ideas, I'm open to them. I mean, we could go to the armory and get more guns. It's an idea. And, uh, and maybe spacesuits? Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing a spacesuit, but other people might want them. Yeah, they might might be extra protection or something. Do we still have that... Uh, that exoskeleton, the giant robot exoskeleton? No, we don't. I do a history check for that, or we don't actually have that. I was just saying. Okay. Also, you uh, roll me a perception check. Zoop, zoop. Uh, a good a seven. This is pretty good. Um, the children and Keith are like, uh, sir. I don't know if you could hear that, but I- I'm hearing a lot of rattling noises all around us and clicking. I think he might be. It, it's it's probably just uh, some swamp gas. Don't worry about it. I, I I'm kind space of space gas. Now. Well, keep your eyes peeled then, and uh, I'm gonna. Does he do beep, that? Boop. Does he peel eyes? I, I, you'll you'll find out. <laughs> oh God! It's a delicacy. <laughs> but I'm, a I'm robot. gonna power on the replicator. Okay. What? And how many uh, things can I make with it? What's its power level like? So, uh, when you power it on, it's like. So it does make a noise, uh, and it okay. indicates um, that it's on emergency ration mode. So it's set to auto uh, produce jerky, all right, dried foods, yes, and then like water pouches, texted vegetable protein, yeah, water pouches, yeah. I'm gonna try to I get those out, but with the last bit of power, I'm gonna try to override it to get a. Seaweed, saffron, and peanut butter power bars. Roll me mechanical engineering. To keep to keep my promise. Uh, 16. What'd you say? 16. So you do manage to override it enough to sort of bypass the emergency thing. So because of that, you don't get as much of the other stuff. So I will say you get 
four Perkins snacks. Four Perky snacks. Uh, five sticks of jerky. Five f- dehydrated fruit. Five um. <laughs> five melon. Ten water pouches. All right. And what was the other thing? Vegetable something. Seaweed. Three veggie mite. Sandwiches? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Bars. Veggie mite sandwiches? Three v- cockroach bars. It's like it's like the a Luna bars. Instead of the, those applesauce <laughs> packets, it's just ground up vegetables. It's like Gerber's baby food vegetables. But dehydrated into a bar. Yeah. That's what kids right? eat. Yeah. It's for the kids. Exactly. So Keith goes past you uh, towards the back of the ship to go to the armory. Uh, Verde also goes back that way uh, to go to the engineering room to try and look for stuff. Um, The children don't know what to do. Where's the the pizza You with me? Yeah, they're they're in uh, my room. Okay. All right, children. So get your guns out. (laughs) They have guns. They're way bigger than their hands. Gave them little pistols. It's like the penguins inside Futurama when they learn to pick up guns. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Bum, bum, bum. So you guys go off towards your room. Meanwhile, back in the cargo hold, Perkins is there shakily holding a gun, or like holding a string <laughs> attached to a gun, like waiting. Uh, do you go and snatch the teacher? No. Uh, the vent door just kicks open with force. Huh? What? And I slowly l- lower myself down with my tentacles. Okay, down the wall. Yeah, just like uh, like a like when you used to throw the ninjas that had sticky hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they they, they yeah or flip frogs. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, per- ah. Perkins is watching, scared behind a box, just holding a string. I can smell you, Perkins. Wait, take me instead of the teacher. We've talked about this. You keep your litter inside your box. <laughs> it's in there. How many? Th- I saw. I can see it. It's all. The teacher, ladies. Yeah. So and you... now, because of your actions, I have to reprimand her. No. Because no, of you, you no. Perkins. And he pulls the string, but Verity did such, or not Verity, uh, Keith. Uh, Keith did such a bad job. It literally just like makes it just the gun fall over. Like it wasn't tied to a trigger. It just was tied to the barrel. So he just pulls the gun over, and he's like, "God damn it, Keith." I'm sorry, but this is the only way I can take care of everything. Hey. Hey, but we don't have to do this. We could work together. I put my I... knife through her chin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. You've made the mess with the pocket shit flitters. It's just blood. His just shit sand out. is everywhere. <laughs> You're talking at her about whatever. What I'm not even is. looking at her. <laughs> You're looking at Perkins, like just yeah, having a conversation while she bleeds. All and then those dead eyes. We've talked about this, Perkins. This is what happens when you don't keep your box on. I'm going to cover every one of these kids in kitty litter. See how you like that then. Um, Unless you eat me. And I just take the the body of the teacher and I just okay. one hand throw her up into the vent perfectly. Uh, roll me a check for that. A what? Roll me a check for that. What kind of check do you want? Uh, strength? I, let's dex? Let's go with strength. Athletics? Strength. Because it's like a throw attack. 19. Eh, yeah. And here's it's a win not, It's not perfect. It's sort of dong and rolls up inside. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> I'm not great at throwing one right down the middle. She ragdolls a little bit, kind of hanging out. It's a 12 6 uh, sink bomb. Her head, sorry. Her head's hanging out and just bleeding down. Eyes roll up in the top of her head. I, uh, her I, I, God damn it. Not even looking, I kick a bucket under the, the blood drip <laughs> so that it catches it perfectly. So Keep athletics? athletics. <laughs> Gonna have to stop this, sir. You're gonna have to stop it, Yonkers. Yeah, this is the years of abuse finally coming out. I'll stop you if I have to. How many kids are left in here? Uh, oh yeah, there are kids. We were down to there. like thirteen, and I you, took two you with took me. Two, well, you were down to fourteen. You took fourteen. Two, I took so two with me. Twelve left down here, and they're all huddled around where Perkins is, and they're like, "Wait, how many guns did you give them?" Uh, enough for the front line, and I was thinking there would be like front three lines. Line. Like, <laughs> so four. Four. Yeah. They'll fire their pistols terribly. With can a I? Minus can two. I intimidate them before they shoot? Sure. Give them a yell. Kapla. Kapla. It's charisma. 
Charisma. I should have a terrible charisma score, but. Boo! <laughs> What'd you get? 17. It's the, I mean, that's pretty scary for kids. I know, they are children's. Uh, they're scared of shadows. And but you're a as a grown 34 year old man, I'm scared of shadows as well. Three of them <laughs> drop and scream and just run, like the three with guns just stop and just. They run. They they're going to take their chances opposite against the direction, Yorkish. Opposite direction. One has a gun, and uh, fires. It's a little girl. The gun's way too big. It's probably not going to go well. It doesn't. Uh, it has so much kick. It just fires off into a wall and bounces around for a while. Well, what I'm saying is those kids aren't just. They're running in fear. They're not just they, like they frozen for, in fear. They ran in fear, but it wasn't that bad. They ran I in said fear. boo. You said boo. Yeah. I said boo. They ran He's behind the boxes where wind. Perkins is. So they exited my attack of. Uh, oh, you're way far away. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Because you took the, the other side. That's fine. I'm bucket. just trying to. Yeah. We're, we're not camped around this the vent for easy picking. <laughs> yeah, like. Uh, I don't know how you were laid down because we don't have a map. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just logic. We're near the shower. With buckets under the shower so we can drink water. And the litter box. Everything that has happened is always rotating around you, Sparkins. I told you. I'm going to stop you, you son of a bitch. The worst thing about it, Sparkins, is that I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> what do you mean you're going to kill me? Because that is what you want, sweet release. What? From this lice and the dealing with the trauma of everything around you. No. I don't want that at all. I definitely don't want you to eat me so I can be inside you again. No, oh, that's disgusting. That is another reason why I will not eat you, Perkins. I will get back inside you, sir. I don't sir. want to taste your flesh anymore, You're going to taste something. One no, way or another. You're fucking gross. But and I that's where we'll take a break. Take those breaks. <laughs> and we're back. I will take those jelly beans of children's off your hands. Over my oiled sweet body. I'm actually going to take a, a, an attack. Kids go roll not cut a little. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm going to attack Perkins and try to knock him out. Okay. So you're going to rush up to him and attack him? Uh, not attack. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to hit him right in the face with okay. the butt of my long gun. Okay. So you're doing subtle damage? Just KO damage. Yeah, he's just I want to. Wanna, I want to hurt him. Like I want him nice. to wake up. Sure, sure, sure. But I also don't want to hit him too hard, where he's like, "Oh, oh I just came. <laughs> yeah, look how much I came." And it's something he would say. So, is it a finesse weapon? <laughs> no. Just kidding. I got a sixteen. <laughs> um, what's the butt of a gun do? Let's say a D eight. Non-lethal. That's the word. Subtles from like you second don't edition. hit Perkins. Whoa! Because he's skinny, he's now pretty dexterous. Skinny Perkins. I went where his head used to be. Yeah, because yeah. of his how jowls. He dodges it, and he's like, "You get the hell away from me, sir!" And he botched. <laughs> Classic Perkins. <laughs> so Perkins goes to reach back. And his arm gets stuck on the uh, collar of one of the children. And instead, it slows him down. And he literally just tosses a child directly, like, into you, but not, like, <laughs> hard. Just, like, lofts it. It's like a little, a little <laughs> like the snowball that you throw at somebody that you lob at them yes. so they look at it before you bean them in the face. Yeah. yeah. He's Don't like, it. God damn it. Perkins, it's Uber <laughs> Eats. I thank you for your deliveries. Um, You said he botched that? Did he fall prone or anything like that? I mean, it doesn't matter. Led forward to with the it. child's death. Yeah, so. it's fine. I, I uh, like um, Christopher Reeves on uh, South Park. I crack the neck <laughs> and suck out the insides. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting! And throw it away. <laughs> that's it. Just the skin. Just toss it just, away. Just, I sucked it dry. Just oh, it's got juicy it's blood. Got blood all the skin's not even fried. Why would I eat it? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to watch my. That's a waste. I'm trying to watch my ghoulish figure. That's a waste. <laughs> Dad, oh, it. I'm sorry. You can finish that's it like if you, you that's want. That's like buying a Slim Jim and just sucking the that's juice like out of it. That's like eating a banana, away. not Pekins? eating the peel. Pekins? 
Are we the calm, Perkins? Oh, yeah, yeah, sir. You can't answer that. It's, it's not wasteful. You're, you're still thinking like a fat person. Let it go. Wait, you can hear that? Let this? go. I ink on Perkins right in the eyes. <laughs> Try okay. to blind him. <laughs> Roll attack again. That's a critical 20. Uh, yeah, oh. you're going to ink directly into his eyes. Good. Are they burned out? Well, it's just it's... blinding. Okay. He critted. No, no. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Man, the camera layout is so bad. <laughs> yeah, I fucking get it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Perkins is blinded, so he can't see anything right now. Meanwhile, back up on the bridge or the upper section, you can hear lots of commotion down below, but you. So you think you might have enough time to do some hunting gathering. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I heard Perkins talking about wasting the skin, so I made fun of him over the comm, but uh, it, me and the children go to the room and forage for ranch and uh, half-eaten pizza boxes. Okay. And I imagine that Keith and Verde are looking for big guns. Uh, yeah, so you guys can find the, the pizza boxes pretty easily. I mean, you just put them under your bed, right? Yeah, I mean, that's how AJ used to do. He would yeah. replicate a, a box of cheesy bread and pizza, and then you'd eat half of it and then just leave it under there. That stuff's not going to go bad because it's not even real food. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. So you find... Uh... And those, like, dispenser bags of ranch? You used to sure. get those? So it turns out there were only two boxes of the uh, cheesy bread. Oh, really? Sticks. Yeah, there was only two it's unfortunate. Boxes. But there was also two bags of ranch. It, the the big gallon ones. Yeah. That's like, a little care release, like the, right? Like a box of wine, the plastic inside, but it's ranch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like the pump dispensers at the cafeteria? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Yeah? Yep. He was stealing them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. He, he has like a, a little hamster feeder in his room. Sure. Um, and also, how many how many alcohols are in his closet? How many? That's the real reason I came here. What type of alcohols did he have? Beer? Who is this? Shitty American beer. AJ Washington. Bush Light. And and uh, cinnamon flavored sugar whiskey. Three six packs of shitty beer. What? And two bottles of whiskey. Two two gallon ranches. 18 beers. How many bottles of whiskey? Two. Two fire whiskeys. Two boxes of and pizza. Two pizza well, boxes. Yeah. Cheesy sticks. Roll, pizza roll sticks. Two. Surprising. All right. So, yeah, well, you children, should... you've done well. I, I feel here... like I didn't do anything. I just followed you, you no, here. We <laughs> survived, and here's your pizza snack reward. I give them a little box of cheese. <laughs> so they, they very hungrily eat the cheesy breadsticks, even though they're hard and stale. Not too fast? No, what? Oh, all right. They just devoured it. <laughs> yeah. You two are promoted to lieutenants. You are now uh, oh wow stronger for having having helped me. Oh, is that how the that works? The squid cannot harm you while I'm near. Oh, we're going to stay so close you know. then. Yeah, exactly. Very close. So so they stay very close to you. All um, right, and uh, let's uh, let's go rejoin our friends from the, in the armory. If you kids remember what that is. Okay. Because um, I don't. So well, so I was gonna say you kind of all meet up at the same time back, back the, in the cafeteria back at the top of the stairs, hall, yeah, with his new vent. Yeah, uh, Keith only managed to find one pistol, and that was it. We don't know if there was other guns in there, but that's all Keith could find. I'm sorry, this is this is all I could find. It's just one pistol. I'm sorry. Meanwhile, uh, Verde came down with like a suitcase. She came back with like two suitcases. Right. What kind of cases you got there, Vaddy lady? Oh, these are volatile chemicals. I'm going to blow that motherfucker up. Like, is it like a multi-chemical thing where they feed together and they explode? Oh, I, I didn't put it together yet. We're going to put it together. I want to do it when we're all together. They're super soaker. So I have defense. <laughs> yeah. Give all the kids some super soakers and you got to cross the streams at them so that it dissolves them in like Just acid. give them water balloons. <laughs> kids don't, are good at throwing. Don't drop this. <laughs> Yeah, You're that'll go well. Fucked. We'll give him some of the beers first so they have courage. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm better like... aim, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I've thrown D, D batteries when I'm drunk. Well, you are from Philly. <laughs> that's true. And glass vodka bottles at people in our crowds. and Yeah, pretty good at it. After trying to, you hit numerous yeah. people with one throw. So. I know. Who's the, which one of these is the most caring that's going to complain to the manager? That one. <laughs> that's who I'm at. I can tell by for. her haircut. <laughs> yeah. Nail her. 
Let me light this on fire first. She looks like a bitch. She looks like a bitch. I said bitch. I yeah, said like the, bitch. the bang front fade to the bowl cut in the back. Yeah. With like bowl cut. Fucking it's uh, true. blonde streaks, and some of them are red, and They're, it's just yeah, all over I the mean, place. It's literally just a, a bleached blonde Amish haircut. Yeah. That's and all then the character Giant cut hoop is. earrings. Yeah. So when you guys head back downstairs. That was the teacher that we sacrificed. That's why you shouldn't feel bad about it. But. Sure. Okay. So when, when you head back down, Perkins is stumbling around with black ink all in his face. Uh, there's Perkins, least... I'm not even going to ask what that's from. You a disgusting man. What? what, what you... I'm going to let you finish. Okay. I was going to say one of the children is missing. Oh, I was going to say there should be no kids left. You ate all 13? I'm just... not even going to pace it out? <laughs> He's a glutton. He's, well, all he's doing is snapping the necks and sucking the juice out. Yeah, <laughs> they're like gushers. You just see thirteen. Well, you just open up a pack kids. of gushers and Ooh, just eat like one of them. Four children equals one human, so he's got to eat four for every one that he normally would okay. eat. I'll say four kids are dying. There you yeah. go. I'll take that. You see four corpses of children with their necks snapped the wrong. Like, Skin bags is what you mean. Yeah, their bodies are shriveled up a little bit, a little bit. It's not like he sucked all the juices out of the back of their neck. But Ooh, he, well, you actually will right, Perkins. That is very wasteful. That's what he said. Like, is he still like putting ink out of his eyes? Yeah, he's, he's like a he's to get uh, He can't switch. see until he does a con save. Yeah. He passes. He's used to getting sticky stuff yeah, out right, of his that's eyes. That's fair. He's <laughs> got a true. chemical to deal yeah, with. Damn it. it. He's just like, Ugh. it's not the first time he inked in my face, so it's fine. But so he got the teacher, sir, and he got four of the kids. The fucking Keith tied the string to the barrel of the gun instead of the trigger. I'm non-violent. I don't. I don't. I don't make weapon traps. I'm sorry. I got. I got nervous. Keith, we're gonna have to adjust your programming to get violent if if you're not gonna help us survive. I mean, although okay. realistically, you're gonna be the last survivor if if he does kill us all because you are made of metal and he's not gonna eat you. Oh, I feel a lot better then. <laughs> oh, I'm safe. Oh, I, hate I mean, the actually, <laughs> I hate the Muslim. I hate the people. I'll just throw myself out the airlock. I can't die in space. Exactly. That, that seems like a lazy way to write <laughs> off a character. <laughs> Inside jokes. Um, I mean, what? you could try and reprogram Keith to make him more violent. Eh, you mostly I mean, made him productive, yes, not so we, much violent. I, I'm going to pass, pass around the food. Okay. I give uh, Perkins his, his bars. So he can't have any other food, just the bars, because okay. he's still on his diet. Sure. And I'm going to keep most of the jerky for myself and a one gallon, one of the two gallon bags of ranch. Sure. In Ver my backpack. Verde's like, uh, sir, I would yes. like to make a recommendation, if I may. Yes, I should chug these beers right now. What, I would say, you could, you <laughs> he's could already do that finished two after. of them. I was, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say that maybe we should build like a base of operations here that he can't yes. just like slurp us out of because he just keeps stealing us out of vents. What, do you want, like, a roof? Yeah, we could stack up boxes, make, like, a crate igloo or something. They're heavy. All right. Well, let's get on it. Keith, you look strong. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Kind of. Well, you're a robot, so. Okay. You're probably stronger than I am. I just have a quick question sure. about the ship itself. Yeah. Is the ship just adrift yes. in space? It's literally just drifting. Okay. Sparking out the back? Nothing. And rolling? It, so Verde managed to do one little of the engines, and it so smerge the engines out. So now it's just moving, moving slowly yeah, forward, very slowly. Forward. Got it. So with it the force moving, of the explosion, it's not sitting completely still. Yeah. So yeah, it would be funny if the stress of all this had Perkins go and again. yeah, just start eating again. <laughs> stress like, eating? I can't stress eating. Sure, but also okay. there's no food. Sure. Uh, so, Captain, I'm going to need you to decide who's going to be defending while who builds. But I'm in the air vents right now! How uh, am I Pekins? going to delegate <laughs> roles when I'm up here in the air vents? You're not the captain! I am always the captain! <laughs> oh, I am the captain now? Look at me, everybody. He's got All a right. bell! Do you have a bell? No, you just ding, got ding, gross ding, ding, testicles. Ding. I said it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, well, uh... I assign uh, Keith on build duty with Verde. Okay. And I guess I'll help lift stuff because I'm a big, strong man. And okay. I enhance my uh, 
I don't want to say skin bag, but you know, the thing that I'm attached to. Sure. I won't um, even say that you could even stress the skin bag. Your flesh mobile. To like uh, go a little above and beyond its capabilities. Yes. But also at I, its detriment. Like, well, it's in hard times, you got to take sacrifices. Sure. And, and I know that I can always suckle upon the teat of the two gallon ranch bag that I have. Sure. That heals all wounds. And my backpack of vac vat meat, which sure. I've not shared with the rest of everybody because it's secret. So, what is Perkins and all the children doing? Perkins and the children are in charge, and my two lieutenants are in charge of uh, oh. keeping watch. Okay. So, they just are lined up. Um, Sort of in a, a semicircle around the build site with mm -hmm. guns pointed in every direction, just waiting. But this time the children manage to, you know, nestle the guns in such a way that it won't go flying when they fire a shot. So that's a thing. Are you doing anything while they're building this habitat? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the other parts of the ship. Okay. Well, if, it's, if it's not being occupied. No, the other part you, of the ship is totally empty. the map of the ship? Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, you, he could uh, be hitting all the replicators for all the meat that they've got. No, 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 I'm not doing that. And there's got to be more dead bodies all over the ship if those are the only survivors, right? Or has he already picked them clean? I mean, he ate Joran, uh, and Zorthox got zapped off the ship. Yeah. Um, Into so hell, yeah. I imagine. Yes, they all went back to the hell portal. All the demons everywhere. So, yeah, so the only survivors are... You, Keith, Verde, Perkins, and um, the kids. Is there a second part to this uh, sh map, or no? Is this it? I mean, the vents. No, no, I don't need the vents. And the cargo hold. No, I don't need that either. Yeah, okay, that's it. So yeah, then I'll be going through. Um, I'll be going through everyone else's rooms to kind of. Steal their money? Um, no, <laughs> yeah. I I mean that would be in character of Yakish to yeah. go to like Jorn's room and and like doesn't do this anymore. I'm going to untuck the bed. <laughs> That'll show him. That'll show you. Sign your name on his fan fiction. Dad, um, and then going through like the storage room and kind of okay. like messing up any kind of materials that they could <clears throat> actually use. So you is want to sabotage. A little bit of sabotage, but is there more stuff in the armory, or did Keith just shit the bed? There's and... more stuff in the armory. He just shit the bed. Like... Is there any way to close the armory permanently? Like, lock it down? So if they... you sealed the door. I'm going to seal the door. Yeah. I guess I could do that on the bridge. Well, no, because... The, um, so their the computers are pretty much completely off. Got it. So that when I say seal the door, I mean like with a torch, like an acetylene torch, just which I would find in the, the storage door. room, which is right next to the yes. armory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you if they're if they're hunkering down, right? <laughs> like when they're making you need their, all the cutting supplies you can get. When, the, when they're like <laughs> literally like making their plans, I'm just sitting sure. at the vent listening, like <laughs> okay. snacking on Karen's brain. <laughs> That, that, that sounds a good plan. <laughs> I'm going to go to storage room and then get this down the settle the unsettling torches <laughs> and uh, kind of uh, just close up the storage room. Oh no, no, I want to keep that open. I've got plans. Well, you could get in anywhere. Because, yeah, but I need to get the, the vents. I need to get the body through there. Uh, There's some true. of these robot pit. <laughs> Shipments and not the, the same size. I okay. need to, but I'm gonna close the armory up in the teleporter rooms. Well, the teleporter room is connected to the armory. I so know, but I want to. The, 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 hey, it's not better that they to, could use the teleporter. It's better anyways, to have but... double locks on there. Your, your front doors has two locks. I want to put two locks on. Yeah, but Phil, we don't use the one door. The, the that's lock. not the same. If I just <laughs> moved here, I don't want to hear that shit. Don't ship. lock the bottom lock, Phil. You can't get back in the house. You go for a walk after podcast, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> roll me a uh, strength or athletics check. Oh, athletics, my no, dude. No, not you. I'm oh, it. damn it. You you just have to take your time to seal the door. You don't yeah, they're to not going to come out. Yeah. Can I also, like, fix some of my, like, skin that's, like, falling off? What do you mean fix the set? it? You know, like, you melt, sear it? melt it back on to me. That's not how skin works. I mean, are you a skinologist? Yeah. Are you a dermatologist? Skin. I was going to say a dermatologist. Uh, I mean, in space, it could be anything. 
You're a Wendigo. It's literally sloughing off. You're a Wendigo. Don't <gasps> fucking. That's you got like radiation sickness. Kinda. Yeah. I mean, you could burn it, but it's not gonna like go Give back me more on you. Powers. It'll... <laughs> <laughs> this makes me stronger, you know it's scary than the Wendigo. Wendigo on fire! <laughs> <laughs> no, because you take double damage from fire. No, 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 it's because <laughs> I'm in the water. It's, it's a oh, weird okay. effect. It's like a, a, a close-up magic. How does it work? He's on fire, but he Wendigo in water! Okay, keep going. Okay. The answer to that question, by the way, is 30 minutes after you leave. Oh, got it, got it, got it. After you beat... Well, that too. Uh, so, roll me a strength or athletics zoop zoop. Uh, what's my increased strength bonus for pushing my host to the limits beyond? Uh, if you stress it, we'll give you a d12. All right. An extra d12. Yes. Goddamn. Oh. All right. I'll take a 32. Yes, but you die too. <laughs> I feel like you're not very excited about my 32 that I am. If you mechanical engineered, you might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you... 32 is a good <clears throat> roll, big boy. Yes, it's not planning good like. your death. 32? So, yeah, so, so uh, other people can see sort of like the muscles uh, getting very, very strained as you're just lifting these incredibly heavy boxes and they're stacking up and you're basically making like a little bunker and with everybody working on it it takes you about 15 20 minutes um and you guys were smart enough to put little sl not slats but you put space so you can see in yeah, all gun directions holes. yeah gun holes <laughs> and perkins uh took his litter box and he just threw it on the floor all around the outside of like a ring of salt, like a ring of if salt, he was protected. Yes, <laughs> but he also put it on each of the levels of the of the boxes too. So if he touches, if he touches it, he's gonna get my pee in him. I'm going to fucking kill you, Perkins. That's what I've always wanted, I sir. Perkins, your reverse psychology is excellent. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I've told him I'm gonna get inside him again. He doesn't even know. Um, In an effort to uh, regain all of the strength that I'm going to be losing soon, I'm going to chug all of the beers. Okay. So he can sleep? Like, <laughs> you're just playing yourself now. You know, I, we don't know how long we're going to be adrift. You might not want to drink them all right this second. You might want to space right, you're them right. out. Well, like, I had two already, we said, so I have got down to 16, so I guess I'll just drink yeah. eight. I'll have eight beers. But you're also That's the captain. Amount. You're the captain. You're going to drink eight beers right now? Yeah, I'm the captain. You can't stop me. Roll me a con save. Are you Perkins, you the voice of my oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was close. One digit off of instant death. I drank himself to death. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I rolled a zero and a nine. Literally oh, one digit off of death. Oh shit. <clears throat> so like I strained myself physically and then I just dumped instead of like giving yes. myself food and water, I put instead alcohol. Stretching on top of it. and doing other things like that. Yeah. So instead you just vomit on the floor a little bit. Uh there's a little puddle in the middle. So the the space that you're in is fairly dark, but there's there's light, you know coming in with the flashes uh keith also has a light on his person so it's it's uh so the space that you're in can stay lit enough anyways so it's not super super dark in there <clears throat> but yeah so you guys have your little setup verde is like all right well i'm gonna get to work um and i'm just be... passed out you just threw up i didn't say you passed oh, out okay fine you just threw up a little bit uh, but Verde was made sure to have a little table there, and you could see that she just starts working on stuff with the two briefcases. She starts, she's getting out vials and like these little glass urns, and she's mixing things together and tubes and wires and all kinds of shit. She's doing something. You don't know what it is, but she's doing something. Science, science stuff. Science. What are you doing up top? So you, I'll I'll say it takes you <clears throat> because you with a settling torch you have to go pretty slow. I would say it takes you about an hour to seal. That is fine. One door, so about two hours to seal both doors. It's fine. I start an armory, and that's like, oh, I sealed myself in, so I have to undo that. And no, yeah. I, you get through I, the I, vent to get out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take that time to seal up both doors. Okay. 
Then what are you going to do? Well, uh, checking uh, what the time is. It's not. I'm, uh. I feel like five minutes now. Or ten minutes. Five ten. I'm going to make my way through the air vents back into the storage room. The hold, the, the holding dock. The cargo bay. Cargo bay. Sure. So when you go in the cargo bay, you see that the, the limp, lifeless children that you had left uh, unshucked are still there. Those are a lot of good bones. Which, I could use those bones for things. But you don't see anybody else. You do see like a little bunker that's built up against the wall in a semicircle. Made it's, out of what? Uh, Heavy-duty crates and like whatever else they could find. Yes, we'll all be fine as long as the gravity stays on and these crates stay put. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Because we're in an impregnable yelling, position. Why are you yelling that out loud? And it's also I, covered in litter. Look, Perkins, as else. captain, it is important to project so everybody around you can hear you at all times, so yeah, they but, know that you're very strong. But he can hear us too. No, he's a mindless blood bag at this point. He, he has, talked to me. No, you, you're imagining things again, all right? And it's very important that we. Didn't you hear him yell? He's going to kill me because I put his I put my kitty litter on the floor. You're imagining things, Perkins. Your helmet will sort that out as soon as it arrives in five to seven business days. <laughs> now that we're adrift, it'll get here sooner. Um, so as acting captain, I think it's probably the wisest decision for all of us to gorge ourselves in all of these snacks. Because who knows when our next meal is going to be. I, I don't. I think that's the <laughs> like, opposite of what you're Like the do. bears of America, that's... you have to eat all the food and then go to sleep. And we'll take turns. But we don't want to go to sleep. I said, and we'll take turns. Is it? But that's not watch. how bears work. They don't well, take I'm turns. extremely sleepy, and <laughs> I am, have sleep. been called a hairy bear before, so I'm I'm going to eat this jerky and go to bed because I need to recover. Okay, you go to bed. Perkins, you are acting, Captain. All right. Well, I'm in charge now, guys. Is there any way Just to... kidding. Keith, you're in charge. <laughs> God damn it. Is there any way to... Oh. Got them good? <laughs> Is there any way to crush their... Uh... There's no way to really, like crush their bunker it's just, it's like shipping uh, so shipping you, crates right yeah but they're like full of stuff so, yeah um you guys hadn't picked up any cargo recently in well, terms the of kids like, the children <laughs> yeah but like nothing huge you know what? that you could I'm throw take into a, it anybody outside of the oh, the bunker all no. on the inside of the bunker all of them they're all bunkering of them. Glue. that's the point like, of the are bunker. they playing like uh like hopscotch outside? oh you think they went outside to I, play? I mean, the, the kids get bored and now that they have no I'm fucking, uh, I'm just, I'm hungry. disciplinary they literally over them. watched their friends possibly family members get their necks snapped and whatever juices sucked out by an octopus i don't think they're in the playing mood uh, you don't know children. You all got yeah, they're children. very resilient. They bounce mentally. Yeah, they, and uh, physically, you can uh, beat them around, and they just laugh, <laughs> and they laugh, and they kind of like it until you go too far. No wonder. And then the, the ex-wife has to hold your arm back because you don't know when to stop. No wonder Danny likes me so much. <laughs> Mr. Dennis, Mr. Dennis. <laughs> Why are you crying again, dude? Uh, all right, well, you know what? I'm going to... um. Go back uh, to the rest of the ship and, uh, you know, maybe take some time and sit in captain's chair on bridge. Uh, so comfy. Get drinking good, blood out of a skull. Get, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sit in teacher's skull. No, drinking out it's of like Joran's a, skull if you're in the captain's no, chair. No, I don't give that the... the no, no. I, I, I airlocked the down here because it's the best way to get rid of a character is to talk with the airlock. <laughs> no, I, I'm eating the teacher's brains out I, like a, like a Sherbert or Jello esque they're nice. I hold it in my testicles. Like in Hannibal? And then uh, when I get bored with that, I'm going to go down to power room. Get real powerful. Feel, feel good about the, the, the situations. But I'm hungry still. It's, it's not, I mean, the, the, the engine room, uh, or it, is there a room separately that says power room? Yes. It, I thought it, so. It's a power room. Gotcha. So that room has all the batteries, uh, there are flickering lights on them just to indicate that they are running enough for the lights and the air and everything <laughs> else to be on enough. Are they labeled properly? Like a nice uh, circuit breaker box? Yeah, who who made the, who built not, this together, was it? Not like that. Uh, the computer system is what you would use to like deactivate certain things. 
clips where? I mean, if you just unplug everything. I don't want to unplug everything. <laughs> I need my life support. <laughs> But hold on, the Clipsworth. Um, so Clipsworth doesn't come on because. Give me a high <laughs> low on that. Hi. So, not in the normal way. There's a teeny tiny little mini hologram of a of Clipsworth. He's like, yeah, sir. I need you to. And it's like very glitchy. <laughs> I need you to I'm running on emergency power, okay, sir. Okay, that's good. That good on you, Clipsworth. Good to see you, that's sir. That's good to not eat you, sir. It's good to say, okay, I need to, to tell me what's all these are. Well, these are batteries, sir. Oh, that's a very good. They're fun the jokes. <laughs> they, they maintain the energy what in the ship. What does this one do? What do you mean? Like, they, they all control the, the power together. Yeah, but aren't, aren't they on, like, a circuit breaker? So, like, if I remove one battery. So, yeah, battery... If, you, if you start pulling wires, yeah. No, the, the batteries, so uh, think of the batteries okay, sort of like shut up, in a box voice in that, the Alright, the clips work. Uh, which one that turns off all the emergency lights? <laughs> well, we wouldn't want to do that. It'd be too dark in here, But that's alright. We all have low light visions. And then the, the look, I got the little flashlight on my shoulders. You said flashlight, sir. Uh, that's a, the translation is weird. <laughs> Does, I don't believe everyone else has one of those flashlights, though, sir. Oh, no, they're all in cargo, uh, the, the cargo rooms, and that's uh, where everybody's bunkering down until we get to picked up. Why do you want to turn the lights off, sir? To uh, conserve powers. But uh, And my calculations will be able to run on this power for at least 15 days. It's good. We could uh, be better if we didn't have lights because we have a flashlights. You can also, also mutate into mold people. I want to add uh, to take away the gravity. I'm sorry, sir, but you don't have captain's access to ask those questions. I'm going to start pulling wires then. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it, sir. Nah, well, nah, you haven't advised me yet, sir. <laughs> can I kind of make any sense of this just by looking Mechanical at it? Mechanical engineering. Okay. That's an intelligence? Yes. 14. Uh, you got a pretty decent idea of what the wire might be. And it might Am be I pull it up. and then put it in? It may or may not work. I'm going to take those chances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And, and and as Yakish takes his clippers towards the wire, that's where we're... Hold on. No, we're not? Okay. Not yet. Uh, Roll me a... Slight of hand. I'll tell I'll tell you what. So the wires that you're really focused on that you think there's red, white, blue, black, green, and yellow. Okay. Which one would you like? The red, see? whites, blues. All three of them. Oh, well, sorry. I thought it did the red, was... white, blue. Well, you green, always cut black, the red yellow. wires. Always cut the reds. Okay. Red for the red lights. Higher low. Low. All the lights go out. <sighs> and as the lights go out and nothing else, that's what we're going to call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next you time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, Twitch, Reddit, at the Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers. His Lord and Magistry, Big Jim. He who is Steve, the Nuck, Big John, Lord Chronic. Scattered. Shanda Panda B. Mel. Disgruntled Furniture and Sparkle Brony. 69. You want to support the show and get cool shit? You can do that over at patreon.com slash botch podcast. $3 gets you into the wonderful community. $5 gets you those monthly one-offs. We've had great guests so far. We've mm -hmm. had uh, Anthony Rapp from uh, Rent. Yep. We've had Jack Packard from Red Letter, from Media. Red Letter Media. We've had Brian Ibbett from Coverville. All these guests are just $5 would we have another one after by this by the time I this don't know. <laughs> I can't think that far. We'll enough. find out. And more over at patreon.com slash botch podcast. Like our newest patron, Arthur F. Yes, Arthur F. Fox. We salute you, Lord Chronic. Lord Chronic. You are this episode's Bit Commander. Thank you to Gozer. Oh no, hold on. Take two. If you have a moment, moment. Yeah. If you had a moment, 
Head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Yeah. It really helps the show grow. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them over at Gozer underscore music. And as always... When you're snapping children's necks no. to suck out their juicy, juicy spinal fluid. When you're throwing glitter children. Okay. When you're throwing your cat litter all around. Okay. As you're chugging all of the beers that you only have left for the rest of your life. When you're being chased by a deadly monster, throw your kitty litter all over the ground to enrage him to the point where he won't let you be inside him. Get out of here, Parkin! And I guess you could scream botched or whatever. See you next week, nerds. If you're still in the chat on Twitch, we're going to be back with another episode in just five or so minutes. Still hates me. So no, stick around. Hey, man, I just, I got a lot going on. Come on. So where should I move these windows? All right, yeah, let's let's shop this real yeah, quick. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to fix this window. So you know but, how to, you know how to. Because there's the alert box here. So there's another box. Put us in the that. left, right, and bottom corners, the alert box in the center, and keep the bottom left one where it is, and then move the logo somewhere up better. Say that again? Keep, put all of us in the top left, top right, and bottom corner. So don't move me. Put Phil in the top right corner, you in the top left corner, and then put the sub box in the center. Like here in the center? I don't know. If... In like the very center. Okay. Right click it and hit center I to. I thought the sub box was better to the right, but yeah, we can do the center. You, well, hold on. Before you move anything, you know, you know you can move everything at once. Right? I don't know how to do it. Okay, so hold on. <laughs>